Hello, good day to T Concept Digital Agency. So quickly today, I want to look at how to design a musical art cover. And probably you have a musician that wanted to design something for, for he or she. So quickly, let us jump to our system, to our Photoshop. And there we go. So open the Photoshop. Let's go to New Document. Click on Create New Document. And the size of it, let's make it um, pixels. Let's make it 15. 1535 by 1535 by 1535 by 1535 okay kind of a square so we'll leave everything so we can just give it um musical art cover musical art cover so let's just give it a name musical art cover now once you are through with that quickly i uh, will click on you create new is our workspace on CorelDRAW, I mean on Photoshop, sir. So quickly, let's 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 start now. So the next thing we're gonna do is let's bring in all our tools we'll be using for the design. So quickly, and I said before, you can go to File and go to what Place Embedded. So if you click on Place Embedded, it opens. I have them on my desktop. I have um this background. I can place it in. So we have one of the background there. Okay, I also have okay, not a waste time, I'll just drag everything and drop them immediately. Also have this go to your Photoshop and drop them there. And let you drop them. You you wait a little while, okay. Let's free it up. We are still bringing okay, we are still bringing our images. And the next thing we're gonna do is you know so quickly once um so these are the image we're using. Okay, let us get another one. There's one I brought there. Okay, this is it. Okay, this is it. So quickly, let's run through. We don't want to take much time. So okay, these are the images we'll be using. And as usual, now, what you do in Photoshop is now it is good to rasterize um, every image you bring so that you know it doesn't go out of proportion. So let us right click on it and you rasterize. Good to rasterize. Because Photoshop is a um, is a raster kind of tool, not like a Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW, and that is more of a vector. So after that, so these are image. So I've removed, I've removed the background. So you also want you rasterize the, what the image too. And okay, what do we have next again? We have our, our background. These are background. So what do we do? So let us hide these ones. We don't need for now. See when we need them. So I need the background. There's a background there, so this is it. So what I do is, you control T to transform. When you click on it on the layer, you control T. When you do that, uh, you, you have the transform area around it. So what do we do? We can expand that. So let us expand it quickly. Let us expand that. So we can also we can right click on it and you also rasterize like I said before, and you can also convert to smart objects. What smart object does is. It allows for spacing. You can expand without any points breaking. So you click on that. You control T again, so that you can cover up the space. So you hold on your shift, hold on this point, and you can drag evenly. Okay. So okay, let's let's do that quickly now. Okay, fine. Then you can the area you want you balance it. If you are okay with that, you click okay. Now okay, that being done. Now. I can also choose to blow this background. I can also choose to blow it. Do it is kind of blow, but I can also choose to blow it. You click on it. You go to um, go to our layer. You yeah, go to our filter, filter gallery. This is filter gallery. Now, when I click on um, um, the tilt kind of um, blow, what it does is it shows me the. The area I want to do the blowing now. You can set this to. So what I do is, now uh, I can choose to blow the part I want to blow. Now when I drag this down, for instance, you can see you can change the part you want, or you can adjust where you want to blow. So, so you can drag the part you want to blow or not. So let's okay, let's let's just go back to the old things. Okay. Okay, so you do your blow, you can go to your let's do the, the Gaussian blow. The Gaussian blow can help us determine how we want to blow the full background. So we'll blow it more. 
or just a kind of faint so you reduce the blur size you want so let's bring it up a little not to blur okay we are at, at 10 points so we click ok so we've done that so this is the blur effect so we can choose to off the effect here we can have your image back so the next thing we want to do is we want to get this other one this is the one we want to use again so what we'll do is the same thing you control t to transform and you stretch the part you want you stretch the part you want now what i want to do is now i want to clean up some parts i don't want here so what i do is you click on the image and you go to what you take your what you erase it to now this is it this is the eraser tool and you can come here and check what the size of the tool put it as soft round brush and adjust this part and adjust this part so, so then let's make it up a little big okay uh, not too big okay just with it yep we are cool so you can actually clean the part you don't want so you can clean the part we don't want kind of let's make it a little bit big okay hopefully Just want to blow it just to clean it up a little. So it has a kind of effect. Okay, now to keep it at, so you can click Ctrl T and still drag it down a little. Just drag it and come it up. Okay, so we have this kind of effect on it. Okay, and after that, what will bring us? We don't waste, waste, waste much time. You can also add other effects to it, maybe. You can go to your um, what's it called? You can click up here. You can go to your color field. Sorry. So is our brush? You can use our brush. What what the brush does is you can add color to this. You understand? You can, you can see we have a white color already. You can add color to that, but we are not using a white color just to clean up a little. So for that to just to create a kind of an effect on it, okay. So if you use the tool again, let's see brush two. Just pick a color. This is the color we picked. Understand this color, and you can change it using, using just click on your brush tool. And you can add a wonderful effect to it. Okay, we come into that to do that later. So let's get um our image immediately. So you open the party one for now. We don't need that. So this is the image of the guy. He's a musician. I'm going to do that music art cover for him. So what we'll do is you take him up. As I said before, you take you click on the layer and take it up. So you can see the guy here quickly. So what we'll do we can see we'll make him stand out to not too big. So this is the guy. Yeah, this is the guy. So the next thing we'll do is quickly. So quickly after that, uh, so okay, this is the guy. So we have to blend the guy into um, the background so that it makes sense. So why do we do that? Still on the image on this layer, you go to what you mask it. When you mask, you go to what gradient. So you can find gradient here. Click on this part. Come to gradient. This is it. Gradient. So you appear this way. So when you drag this way, you can see you drag from the top down to blend. Let's do that again. Let's do more of that to blend the image. You can see we blended it and it is making, it's making sense now. Okay, after that, what we'll do next? Um, let us write out um, um, the title of this. Now, we can, we, can, we can make this more beautiful, more colorful. Like I said before, you click out after every command. And the thing we want to do is let's go to our brush tool. This is our brush tool. A brush to let's add the brush on this one let's give it a color 
color the whole should we give it now so you can pick a color from these guys shirts just to blend it along so that everything makes sense so what color should we look at for let's pick something here okay or something of this nature let's see something around this dress okay Thinking kind of black, kind of okay, and we'll add it up to you. Reduce the brush size, not too small, not too big. So we'll do that. Play around it, okay. Okay, we can also pick another color. Let's see if we can change it up a little. Skin, okay. Let's do something. Okay. Now you can also work clean if you're not okay with it. You can come to brush and click on this part here. Clean, can we do that too? Okay, let's just add a dark color. Okay, I'll click out. Okay, still on that. Let's go to brush, erase some parts we don't want to uh, just erase some parts. So, we okay, let's reduce the size, going too big. Yep. Yeah, okay with that. We just clean up some part and let's just leave it at that. Leave it at that. Okay, fine. So let's quickly the next thing I want to do, um, let's write out the you know the song title. Okay. Let's just give it a name of the color. So let's write it out first. Let's see, um, please God. There's a praise, okay. Uh, you click still on the layer as you can see it's here let's take it up see on the layer so you can put t to expand it so we'll do that quickly okay now the phone i want to use for this is um you know let me use something like um okay let's get a nice font so how do you change the font it's simple you come to your e this e speaks for letter you click on it Come to this part quickly and make adjustment. Let's see the fonts we can use. Something that is fancy. Let's get a font. Let's take let's let's use taking taking by the vulture. Taking by the vulture, this is it. So we 
it's just how do you stretch this out it's simple you come to this part here and you drag or you drag you can see that you drag in and out and we are cool so we we'll change the color so ctrl t again on it and you can expand that so you can expand that and very soon will change the color so i know the title of the song is please Let's leave it there, okay. So let's change the color so that it comes out. So you click on it and now you can add gradient to it. If you want to add a gradient to um a text, you just right click, you go to blending option, you go to blending option, you now come to what gradient overlay. This is it gradient gradient overlay. You click on gradient overlay. If you are okay with this, this um, gradient I've already created before, a kind of good gradient. So you can choose as many gradients as you want. But this is okay for this, okay? Now let's give it um something else. You can add bevel and burst just to give it this kind of a 3D look. I think that is okay too. Then let's see. Let's also what drop shadow. Drop a shadow for it. You can increase the distance of the shadow is it or you reduce it so that is one what again again we can add some other thing even the outer glow or inner glow for it to make it look presentable so um, okay we're okay with that and we click on okay so that is praise okay let's just see okay praise Say my praise. Okay, let's 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 add something. Click out quickly. Do that quick now. Okay. Add something. Let's change the font. Let's give it um Futura font. Futura. And let's write my praise. Okay. My praise. And we can. Change the thickness. Just thought of something. Okay. My praise. My praise to God. Okay. My praise to God. Just to bring it up down. Can make it bold, make it a good font, make it stand out too. Okay. So make it a good font. Okay. Right click, blend an option. Gradient overlay, let's see. The gradient is not coming out that much. Let's put something close. Ctrl T, let's draw that a little. Praise. So let me add that my praise. Okay. What next again? Um. We'll look at produced by who? Let's see who produced the song. We'll write that out quickly. Produced by. Produced by. You put your name there. And so I produced by Alice, Alice John, produced by Alice John. Okay, bring that close. We can also reduce the font, the 
font size is, is kind of big so let's reduce it click on it again and make a Futura or make that AB Futura AB also okay this is okay for it so you also you adjust to close the gap so how do you do that in Photoshop you come to this part when you slide up you slide to the other side so produce by right jump okay Use by John. Then let's bring our social media handles. Let's bring our social media handles. Let's put it inside. Let's bring our social media handles. So produced by John. Okay, quickly. Let's do this now. And the next thing is, let's write out um his his, his social media handle. Okay, let's say his name is something or somewhere. Okay, let's say somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. After that, we come over here. Somewhere. Then. Now, if you if you want to duplicate um, in, in in Photoshop or your alt key, stay on it. Then you drag you drag this way. And you have another one again. Some let's drag again. Duplicate that somewhere. So let's just see um, the social media handle is somewhere. So let's get the social media handle quickly. Bring it up here. Okay. Now we'll change the color that quantity. Let's see, this is the Twitter. Let's do it a little. We can change the color as well as I said before. We right click, go to blending option, go to color. Let's remove this color, okay? Let's give it a white. The white is also cool. We can leave it at white, or we can change it to uh, the blending, okay? Um, gradient to overlay what we have. As you can see that, okay, let's leave it at that. That's our Twitter. Let's give the other ones as our Facebook. Sorry about that. Facebook quickly. Okay, let's get the other one, the last one. I think okay. That should be the Instagram, but not the Instagram for now. Okay, just add this up. Okay, change the blending option. Okay, right click blending option. Gradient overlay, so that is that. You click on OK, click on these two, right click on it, blended option, gradient overlay. So, we have the color, we have um, gradient overlay. Okay, that should be your Instagram, but your sheet, put on these two, and put on T to reduce together. Just drag that. Or waste much time. I'm just bring a ruler just to create a perfect boundary so that nothing comes up to be. I want to lock up all these. What you're not using, you lock them up so that they don't distract your designs. So you lock the, the ones you don't need. Let's see. Drag this up. Okay, so almost true, we're almost done. Okay, my praise, I'm botanist again. Okay, let's bring out um, 
Yeah, we we'll need this. Yeah, we we'll need this now. Let's click on it and you tick it up when you need it. Tick it up, tick it up. So, Ctrl T, you reduce it. If you're looking too big, you reduce it. So it's like you see this in musical art cover. I have a trademark in musical art covers. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, now. Next again, what's the meaning? Um, you're almost true. So let's just leave this at praise my praise. Click on the praise. This is praise. Let's increase the size of that. And this is a musical art cover. So that is my praise. And what does again so you can go on and add so many things you want to add but want to keep it very simple produced by alice john and this is a musical cover so quickly now let us give it a mock up so that it comes out and it stands out so how do we do that so what you do is after the whole thing here okay now shift control alternative e shift control alternative e what does what what them does does is it gives you this um opportunity to what to add more effects to it. Now, once you don't shift control alternative alternative E, it will create a kind of a JPEG, a kind of a picture here. Now you now click on control here that now shift control A again. After the shift control A, it opens and you can edit it, you can fine tune it, you can make it fine too. It comes up like um this is your editing tool where you edit the photos. So we can come to this part and you can increase the contrast, the lighting, you can see that make it look good. You can add dark to it, kind of make it look a little bit darker. So you can go to details, you can sharpen it. All this needs to be covered in the next class. So you do that to reduce the noise, just to make it stand out. And you click OK. So you can see the fairy is popping out my face. So the next thing we want to do now, let us want to Okay, this this is the mock-up. I've already downloaded it. So the next thing is how to add this to the mock-up so that it comes out. This is how you present to um, your clients. So um, this is the disc. This is the cover. You double click on the cover. And this is it now. Once you've done that, you drag, you drag this and you bring it up here and you drop it. Drop it, you can resize, control T, you can resize. So it's, 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 it matches, you control T. And you have to off this other one. Then once once you lay it, and you click on this, it will tell you something will pop up like this. So you click, say yes. So you click yes on it. Now what it does is now, if, if I to go back to a physical cover, you can see it has appeared on the mockup. So let, it, let us do the same thing for the CD. So you, you, you locate the CD, you double click on the CD to it comes up this way. The same thing you do, you you drag this part of what you've done, you drag it and you take it to the CD and you drop it there. You also hold Ctrl T off this other layer. Ctrl T to give you the balance, Ctrl T and we'll create a balance for it. Let's see, create a balance for it. I think it's okay that way. Okay, so you click on this part, you close it to yes. Once you click on yes, you go to the mock-up, and this is what you have. So that is that on how to design a musical art cover. So please subscribe to our channel, more to come, and thank you very much. Do have a nice day, and bye for now.